Good afternoon. Let's remember that before I walked into court, we had already lost. That was clear with his motion for summary judgment. Before witnesses, before experts, and do I think any of it mattered? I certainly hope so, but for anybody that was been in the courtroom for the last 11 weeks, you heard that there was not one fact against President Trump. There was not one piece of paper that showed anyone committed fraud. And don't forget that Section 6312, a consumer fraud statute, has been wrongfully used against my client, innocent defendants, the organization, and every employee of the Trump Organization, which has single-handedly changed the New York skyline, including the building we are in today. These are special properties. Real estate is an art, not a science. But you know what else is an art? You know what else isn't a science? Political motivated individuals. She's using this to paint a canvas that Donald Trump is a fraudster because they can't beat him in the polls. They can't beat him in the polls, so she ran on Trump because that was the only way she could win. And now today, after 11 weeks, after three years, we have concluded that he indeed committed no wrong. The Trump Organization committed no wrong, and the kids have been dragged in just like the other defendants, and it is wrong. America needs to step up, and there's only one person who can do that, my client, Donald Trump. President Trump, everybody.